Welcome to the ultimate showdown between Apple's top tier devices of 2024, the iPad Pro M4, the MacBook Pro M3 Pro, and the MacBook Pro M2 Max. Whether you're a creative professional, a power user, or someone who needs the best for everyday tasks, this comparison will help you decide which device is right for you. Watch until the end to see which device comes out on top overall, and check out the purchase links in the description. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's dive in. The iPad Pro has long been Apple's attempt to blur the lines between tablets and laptops, offering a powerful and versatile device for creative professionals. The 2024 model powered by the M4 chip takes this ambition a step further, boasting a more advanced processor than even some MacBook models. While this significant leap in performance solidifies the iPad Pro's position as a top tier tablet, it still falls short of being a complete laptop replacement. The 2024 iPad Pro is a stunning piece of hardware with a sleek, ultra-thin design and a gorgeous display. Apple has managed to shave off significant weight and thickness, making it even more portable. However, this emphasis on thinness has raised concerns about durability, as the device can flex under pressure. The display truly stands out, delivering vivid colors, rich blacks, and impressive brightness. It's perfect for both creative work and media consumption. The sound system, while decent, lacks the bass and overall richness you might expect from a device of this caliber. The iPad Pro is packed with magnets for accessories like cases and the new Apple Pencil Pro, which offers a seamless and intuitive experience. However, these magnets can feel superfluous if you're not using Apple's ecosystem of accessories. The USB-C port supports Thunderbolt 4, enabling connectivity to a wide range of peripherals and external displays. However, the absence of an action button, a feature found on the iPhone 15 Pro, is a notable omission. This button could have provided a convenient way to control various functions without relying on the touchscreen. The iPad Pro's camera system is a mixed bag. The rear-facing 12MP wide-angle camera, while capable, lacks the advanced features and image quality of modern smartphone cameras. The front-facing camera, used for Face ID and video calls, is also decent but not exceptional. Powered by the M4 chip, the iPad Pro delivers impressive performance, easily handling demanding tasks like photo and video editing, 3D modeling, and gaming. The 10-core GPU ensures smooth and visually stunning gaming experiences. However, the base model with 8GB of RAM may struggle with heavy workloads, making the 16GB configuration a more suitable option for professional use iPad OS has made significant strides in recent years, offering a more desktop-like experience. However, it still lacks some crucial features found in Mac OS, such as a full-fledged file system and advanced multitasking capabilities. While the Magic Keyboard enhances productivity, it's a costly accessory that further increases the overall price. The iPad Pro M4 2024 is an exceptional tablet that pushes the boundaries of what's possible on a mobile device. It's a fantastic choice for creative professionals who need a powerful and portable device for their work. However, it's important to recognize its limitations as a laptop replacement. If you're looking for a true laptop experience, a MacBook might still be the better option. After using an Intel MacBook Pro for about five years, I decided to make the switch to Apple's M series with the new M3 Pro MacBook Pro 14. Although the 14-inch screen is smaller, everything else feels like a major upgrade. My focus has always been on essentials, good battery life, solid performance, and enough ports for creative work on the go. While I had been on hiatus from writing due to extensive travel and numerous studio sessions across different countries, this laptop proved indispensable during my shoots, and it's the perfect brain for any traveling creative. The build quality as expected with Apple is superb. The space black finish not only looks sleek but resists fingerprints, keeping the laptop looking fresh with minimal upkeep. The design carries that premium Apple feel with rounded edges that give it a modern yet nostalgic touch, reminiscent of the classic MacBooks from the Steve Jobs era. The keyboard is a vast improvement, offering greater key travel than the old butterfly mechanism, making typing smoother and more comfortable, especially for long sessions. The trackpad continues to be among the best precise and responsive with ample space. In terms of ports, the M3 Pro model provides three USB-C ports, an HDMI port, an SD card reader, and the return of the MagSafe charging port, which has already saved my laptop from accidental drops. Though three USB-C ports may not be enough for extensive desktop setups, they are ample for tethered shooting and mobile workflows. 
The display is another highlight with improvements in brightness and refresh rate, which make on the go editing more fluid. While the 14 inch screen is not ideal for studio work, it's portable enough for travel, yet large enough for essential editing. The performance leap from Intel to Apple Silicon is remarkable, handling multiple 4K monitors, editing apps, and even gaming without breaking a sweat. Battery life is outstanding, comfortably lasting through a half day shoot without a charge, and when needed, a 150 watt USB-C battery pack extends its life for full day sessions. For those in need of a high-performance, travel-friendly machine, the M3 Pro MacBook Pro 14 strikes the right balance. It offers portability and power without compromising on the essentials, making it an ideal companion for creative professionals on the move. Despite the high price tag, its capabilities justify the investment, especially for those who value performance and portability. The MacBook Pro M2 Max is an exceptional machine, a true powerhouse that has transformed my daily workflow. After years on Windows devices, this MacBook was my first immersive experience with Apple's laptops, and it has left a remarkable impression. From its sleek design to its stunning performance, this laptop epitomizes Apple's dedication to quality and innovation. My 14-inch model, configured with a 38-core GPU and 96 GB of RAM, was astonishingly overpowered for my everyday needs, but it showcased Apple's engineering prowess. Weighing in at 1.6, 3 kg, it's solidly built and heavier than ultralights, though its understated aesthetic suits a professional setting perfectly. The ecosystem Apple has crafted is a real game changer too, with features like AirDrop making it easy to share files between my iPhone and the MacBook with no extra effort required. It all just works seamlessly, adding to an already intuitive experience. In terms of performance, the M2 Max is a beast. Whether running creative software like Premiere Pro and Affinity Photo or multitasking with dozens of browser tabs, it's effortlessly fast. Even on battery, I noticed no drop in speed, and the laptop comfortably lasted all day on a single charge. Its keyboard offers a satisfying level of tactility, while the built-in speakers deliver a surprisingly rich, deep sound that enhances video and music playback. One delightful discovery was how simple PDF editing was, no third-party tools needed, just smooth, hassle-free functionality. However, the Stage Manager feature introduced with Mac OS Ventura was a minor frustration. Designed to make multitasking easier, it often got in the way, popping up whenever my cursor moved to the left, prompting me to turn it off in favor of Command Tab. Even gaming shows promise on this MacBook, with demanding titles like Resident Evil Village running smoothly and porting becoming simpler for developers, the SSD is blazing fast, achieving read speeds up to 5,800 megabytes per second, making it a solid choice for heavy media work. In conclusion, each of these devices shines in different areas. The iPad Pro M4 is a superb choice for those prioritizing portability and creative flexibility, but it lacks the full laptop experience. The MacBook Pro M3 Pro balances power, portability, and essential features, making it ideal for most creative professionals on the go. Meanwhile, the MacBook Pro M2 Max is a powerhouse, perfect for those who need top-tier performance for intensive tasks like 3D rendering or heavy media work. The overall winner is the MacBook Pro M3 Pro. It strikes the perfect balance of performance, portability, and functionality, making it the best all-around choice for 2024.